Welcome to Charts Today, European Energy. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 1st of October comes to you from London. Uh, just taking a quick look at currencies, just uh, the macro backdrop, we've seen uh, uh, the dollar strength just kicking in the NAFTA deal uh, negotiated over, over the weekend, just continuing that uh, short-term dollar strength and medium-term strength uh, and the euro therefore weaker against the dollar, so it's just having a slight impact. And that dollar's, dollar uh, strength really shows through when you look at it uh, on the yen chart. And we're seeing here dollar just looking strong on all three time frames against the yen. Tends to be a bit of a lead indicator. So uh, the dollar just showing its strength there. And again, sterling falling against the dollar and um, against the euro. Sterling actually looking a little bit stronger. Uh, markets generally looking uh, higher. Stock markets higher on the NAFTA deal as well. Taking a look at uh, commodities and energy, we're looking at Brent crude, looking stronger again this morning, uh, really pushing higher. Has been above $83 uh, at one point this morning. We do have upside targets on the uh, short-term chart of 84, 80, 83.60. So at another 1% to 2% higher looking quite likely. We're seeing those targets actually on the medium-term half percent chart. And uh, we do have one upside target to $94 for Brent crude. So uh, that is a loan target. The mid-80s is a more reliable um, target area at the moment. And looking at WTI, we seeing targets to $80, $81 uh, as well. We've got targets to the mid-70s in the near term, but it does look like we've got another 10% upside potential uh, for um, WTI as well. And just looking at US nat gas, uh, it is holding the uh, $3 level this morning, so we're back at $3.02. Medium term, looking best we have for a while with the, the recent move to that $3 area, so looking stronger, but very, very flat um, uh, over the over the period. Taking a look at uh, um, uh, coal, we're seeing coal just push, nudging that uh, $100 mark, so uh, looking uh, stronger there. We do have upside targets 10% higher to about 110. We've got a massive upside target to 155 on the long term chart for API 2. API 4, we're seeing um, that we uh, obviously less liquid, but we are seeing again we're just holding that bullish territory around that $100 mark. Uh, emissions, uh, seeing emissions we're seeing here, uh, again, just holding that strength, so still looking bullish across the board. And then gas prices this morning, we're seeing uh, slightly down. So we're uh, seeing here on um, uh, MBP, we're down some 2%, uh, but the pattern is still very, very bullish. Short term, we are just seeing a little bit of downside potential here, maybe uh, down to 72.90. These are the ICE contracts on um, ICON. And then looking at... Um, TTF, we're also looking a little bit lower here this morning as well. So uh, just uh, showing a little bit of weakness there. Taking a look at the uh, OTC prices, uh, again, that's reflected here. Um, and these are coming from Icon. If, you've got, if you're running Tradeport, you might have slightly different prices on your screen, of course. Uh, and uh, taking a look at TTF, again, uh, just bearish there as well. Um, looking at power, um, we see here that German power is uh, down very slightly this morning, but still looking pretty bullish. Looking like we're going to uh, forming an ascending triangle here for power, which would be very powerful for the price. We do still have this upside target of 71 uh, euros. Uh, that's 32% higher. That's still uh, a lone target and quite hard to believe. But short term, we do have an upside target to 57. If you're looking at uh, German power, keep an eye on the one minute chart. Uh, here we've got 55.10 as the um, strength. We saw here last week we had downside targets to the, the, the low 52 area. That's kind of where we went. This, uh, at the moment, we've got target to 55.10. Keep an, a watch on your one-minute charts for uh, targets as they develop. Uh, looking at French power, uh, we see here that um, fairly flat this morning, but uh, again, looking pretty bullish. Uh, and if we look at um, Nordpool holding its uh, bullish position there as well, um, as well as Dutch power, if we uh, take a look there, we see um, much the same picture, German power really dominating. Uh, some of the other uh, products, uh, not much change at the moment, but we're seeing here uh, Czech power still looking bullish, Polish power looking very bullish indeed, got some quite big upside targets, um, Italian uh, baseload, 
uh, looking a bit flatter over the last several weeks, and uh, Spanish power also just uh, looking a little bit uh, mixed. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.